Today I want to talk about the annual percentage rate or APR. Do you know what it is? Here's what you'll hear. It's the actual interest rate or it's the real interest rate. Sometimes you'll hear it's the rate with all the closing cost. I've heard it's what the bank is actually charging you. Then some people will say it doesn't mean anything or to ignore it. And still others cop out and say something stupid like it's the disclosure rate, whatever that means. Here's the thing, none of these descriptions really explain what the APR is or what it means. And I don't have a better explanation. That's because the only way to really understand the APR is to understand how it's calculated. So rather than try to explain it, I'll just show you what it is by example. So here we go. I'm going to use a 30-year mortgage for $100,000 at a 10% note rate. And for this example, we'll assume there are loan fees of $3,000. Next, we have to figure out the payment. To do this, we take $100,000 loan amount, the 10% rate, and the 30-year term, and put them into a basic financial calculator. Then we push a button or two, and the calculator tells us that our monthly payment is $877.57. Sounds simple? Well, it is. You know what the rate is, how many payments you'll have to make, how much your payments are, and what the costs are. But according to the government, we now have to do a proper loan disclosure and disclose the annual percentage rate, among other things. So here we go. Remember that loan amount? Well, we're not going to use that when we're disclosing this loan. We're going to use a new term called the amount financed instead. Now, you're probably thinking that the amount financed and the loan amount would be the same thing, and you'd be wrong. The amount financed is actually the loan amount minus the closing cost. Now, keep in mind, if you win the lottery the day after you close and want to pay off your loan, you'll need to pay off the loan amount, not the amount financed. So back to our example, the $100,000 loan minus the $3,000 in closing cost equals $97,000. So 97,000 is the amount financed in our example. The payment stays the same, and you'll still have to make the same number of payments. But here's the issue. Since we replaced the loan amount with the amount financed, our calculations will be off. Something else needs to change. Since we didn't change the term or the payment, we'll need to change the rate. To do this, we go back to our calculator and put the amount financed where our loan amount used to be. Except this time, instead of solving for the payment, we're going to solve for the rate. So we push a few more buttons, and voila! The calculator now says 10.37% where the 10% rate used to be. And that's it! This is what the government calls the annual percentage rate, or APR. And as soon as the loan closes, none of this means anything. The amount you owe is still the loan amount. And the rate you're actually being charged is still the note rate, not the APR. The APR only exists in loan disclosure, so don't be confused and think the APR is the rate you're paying during the loan. Oh, and those closing costs? Gone. That's the bank's money now. Okay? Now that you've seen how the annual percentage rate is calculated, how would you explain what it is? Please let me know what you've come up with. I'd love to hear from you.